Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor and the manufacturer of the Sluice Goose Industries Gold Drop, gold and pay dirt separating processor. Well, I've come across some uh, pay dirt somebody sent me. They say they can't get the gold out of, and there's no way to get the gold out of. So it turns out that all of this five gallons of dirt is pure magnetite. This is the magnetite that I got a hold of to remove the gold. So what I'm going to do here, I'll show you how much magnetite is in there. I mean, it is just loaded with magnetite. So as you can see, that's, that's what it all is. So there's gold in this magnetite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this magnetite and then run it across the spin it off to remove the magnetite and then run the matter that is non-magnetic through the gold drop to extract the gold. We're nice and dry now, so I'm just kind of chasing out what tiny clumps are still there, because those are filled with water. You can see it stops steaming, you're good to go. If this was summertime, I'd have this out in the sun and let it rest for a couple of days in order to evaporate, but wintertime, hey, I'm forcing it. we got to see what gold is in this dirt. Okay, so now I'll just kind of gather it up at the back side here. And and then leave it off in this bucket. This is how the spin it off removes the magnetite from the mineral that's captured within it. I lay out a line of one scoop of black sand on the table here. This tray is a stainless steel tray made for supporting a dog kennel. It makes a great cleanup tray. And this is what I use. So now I'll take the spin it off and we'll slowly start working our way across the magnetite. Pick up the uh, magnetite and it leaves behind the mineral. Now I place that on the side there just to get rid of it. And then do it again. So you can see the mineral is not being sucked up, or a majority of it anyway, because it's not magnetic. What does get caught up in the magnetite is because of the friction of the magnetite itself continues to pick up the mineral. So now what I'll do, after you've dropped off this line here, now you just go ahead and do the same procedure again. Create another line over here. And now we even have more mineral dropping out. And then if you'd like to do it again, you'll even get more. bit more there. And now you're ready to go ahead and dispose of the magnetite out of the bin and into the bucket. And there you have all the non-magnetic material that was in that black fan and ready to be run through the gold drop.
to see what gold is trapped in this non-magnetic mineral. This is what I have after removing the magnetite from this mineral. I've got two 10 quart buckets full of magnetite and this mound of dirt here that it's shoot just barely over a pint of material so that's over a you know a 20 to 1 um, mix of that material but anyway we're able to remove that non-magnetic material and now we'll run that through the gold drop to see if there's any gold in it at all looking at it through a 16 power loop it doesn't look promising but we'll find out this is the gold recovered out of that uh, non-magnetic material extracted from the magnetite. You can see how tiny it is. This gold here was uh, found in the trap. There was no gold in the jar. So this was what in, was in the trap. So there wasn't enough gold, massive enough, to drop in the jar. And this gold here was too massive in order to be flushed out through the magnet sluice. So that's what we have for gold recovery from the trap. This is the gold recovered in the magnet sluice. Captured in the magnetite as the discharge from the gold drop made its way down the magnetite and into the tailings bucket. So you can see that's some pretty small stuff. And so there's some really flat, flaky stuff too. Has some pretty tiny gold in there. So I get out of the way here, it gets more light. So anyway, that's what we recovered from that non-magnetic material extracted from the magnetite. This was in the magnet sluice. So there you have it. Thanks for watching and thanks for being interested.